that's as big as I can smile. Hello, my horror movie peeps. I just got done watching the latest horror movie, Smile. And with Smile, we follow a doctor by the name of Rose who encounters a patient that says she sees a smiling figure that is trying to kill her, eventually having that patient pass on that entity to the doctor herself. She must now figure out the best way to stop this thing from smiling at her. And that's all pretty much everything. Any spoilers to you guys. This will be a spoiler-free review. I think most people have heard about this movie and are at least slightly intrigued with it. When I first saw the trailer for Smile, I got the vibe that this was like a generic dull horror movie that gets put out once a year that like middle school kids would go crazy for and go, man, did you see Smile? Movie's crazy. I heard it actually happened in the school down the street. You know, those kind of movies that are so forgettable, like Truth or Dare, that you just kind of throw off after a week. So I actually had no interest whatsoever to see this movie. And well, this is why you don't judge a book by its cover and you always go in giving a movie a fair shot because it surprised me. Smile, I'm gonna say, is a really effective horror movie that knows what it is, but also takes it a step further to do more than what it's just presenting you. I really didn't know what much more you could do with just an entity that smiles at you. Sure, that's very creepy to have a haunting smile look at you, but I felt like that could only take you so far in terms of story, thrills, and even visuals. And all three of those factors get expanded out in very enjoyable ways as this movie continues. There's a mystery going on that you're trying to figure out what is the origin of this smile entity? Why is it coming? Are there rules attached to it? And when there's rules in a horror movie, automatically a win for me. I found myself really invested in wanting to find out more about this smile entity and there's even sort of like a ring situation, you know, like you're gonna die in seven days. Where you know there's this impending danger that is getting closer and closer and your time is running out and you still have learned very little. The suspense is very well built up and don't even get me started on the jump scares. Do not go watch Smile if you got a heart condition or can't handle jump scares. I'm usually someone that can spot a jump scare coming like a mile away. I prepare for it so that when it happens, I'm like, oh great. But this one caught me off guard a couple of times and it plays with you so hard. Cause sometimes the jump scares are those cheap ones that like where nothing happens. Oh, it was a cat that knocked over a glass. But then the other 60% of time in this movie, it actually is something that's gonna pop out and just leave a mental scarring image in your head. Props to Smile for doing that because there's so many horror movies that think jump scares are supposed to be fake out scares where it's just nonsense that really doesn't scare you but this one no it, it, it will i also thought the cast members in here were really good i like the main character of rose kyle gallner was also thrown in here as a detective cop he does a great job now i would say there are some things in this movie that are holding it back from being one of the top tier horror movies that we have gotten in 2022 because it's been a great year of horror and for one it's way of handling mental health it feels like this movie was trying to do something a little more with exploring trauma, how that attaches to the smile entity. And for the most part, I was really enjoying some of the commentary it was adding, because that's the thing I thought that was separating it from being a generic little dumb horror movie, was that it actually had something to say about mental health. That the smile entity was a good metaphor for trauma and what that does when it weighs onto you and you don't face those fears. But then for the end of this movie, it just kind of says, ah, forget the message we were establishing. Let's just end with something that'll kind of haunt you for the rest of your life, which I think some people will be fine and like. I know there's imagery at the end of this movie that is going to stay with me that I really enjoyed. I don't want to get too much into it, but there is like some practical effects, or at least I think it was. It didn't look like CGI, so props to them for that, that just like, wow, when I saw that, I literally just sat down in my seat and was like, holy but at the same time, it just kind of ruins the message of the movie and what you were trying to establish. I'll also say the movie kind of overstays its welcome. It starts to drag on a little bit. The pacing could have been a little tighter because I did find myself shifting in my seat, kind of getting frustrated, like, all right, let's get to the point now. And that again, just has to do with them stretching out a simple concept like a smiling evil entity. But still, at the end of the day, this is going to be something really effective, something that you'll enjoy. If you were someone like me that were looking at these trailers, seeing the title of the movie and going, this is dumb. No, what? Come on. You're really trying to give this to me, Hollywood? Uh, give it a chance. I, it surprised me. I think it could surprise you. So with Smile, I'm going to give action two stars. There's not a whole lot of action going on to that very last 10 minutes. It's very much quiet, somber pace, and it's just really this entity smiling at you. Comedy in the movie, I'm going to give it one star. For the most part, it takes a very serious approach. There were maybe like two or three jokes in the entirety of the movie. I thought I was honestly going to be laughing at a lot of things that were supposed to be scary, but just looked funny because it's people trying to creep you out with a smile, but no, they're actually effective with 
with it. Drama in the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars and that's really surprising to me because I thought they were not gonna be able to tell a compelling story, an interesting narrative with this thing that just smiles at you. But oh, I wanted to know more. I liked finding out the rules and trying to see if I can figure out in my head, what would I do in this situation to not be the next victim? Horror in the movie, I'm gonna give three and a half stars too. I think some of the horror and thrills in here is very effective. There's also a case to be made that there's some psychological horror thrown in here, but those visuals that you'll get at the end of the movie, like they are just still sticking with me to this very moment. Suspense the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars. I almost gave it more, but because it does drag along towards that second, third act, my suspense quickly turned into frustration because I just felt like the movie started dangling information in front of me when I just kind of wanted it to move along. Casual fans, I'm gonna give this an A minus. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it a B plus. And critically, I'm going to give it a B plus. For the horror movie Smile, I think it's a movie worth checking out in theaters. Again, that's just my opinion on the movie, guys. I didn't think it would turn out as good as it did. This really screamed to me, generic stinker. But there you go, shows what I know. I thought I could use to tell exactly what a movie was like from seeing a trailer. Times have changed. Let me know your guys' opinion on Smile if you're going out to see it. If you have seen it already, what did you think about it? Anything interesting, be sure and like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3 films or on TikTok at 3 films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.